Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today, I'll talk about the upcoming points devaluation which will be happening to the BMO World Elite MasterCard. I just recently got a uh, notification in the mail which is right here and I'll just go over some of the devaluation and I'll give you my uh, analysis and uh, insights on this. But, uh, I do have other videos on BMO World Elite MasterCard which I'll provide a uh, link in the description box below. So let's start with the BMO World Elite MasterCard point devaluation uh, which is happening starting next year so this is the mail just came actually yesterday and I'll be going through some of the changes now before I start this I'd like to mention that uh, this card BMO World Elite MasterCard uh, used to give uh, two points per dollar spent so each point was uh, or still uh, it is equal to one cent so what it means that you'd be earning 2% uh, on every purchases. It didn't have any category specific or anything specific uh, purchase or rewards rate. So it would be just 2% flat on, on everything. So this is what it is changing. And also uh, BMO is devalu devaluating uh, the program uh, or the points. So which will outline, uh, which is outlined here. And I'll be talking about some of these. Okay, so the first thing, uh, let's start with uh, what we have here. Okay, so this is the whole uh, letter which tells how these changes are coming to BMO World Elite MasterCard. And let's uh, start with the first uh, change here. So when I uh, received the email uh, or the letter in the mail, uh, it just tells that you know uh, there's there's changes coming to your BMO MasterCard. In general, whenever you receive a letter like this, it always means that uh, you know it's bad news. Uh, most of the times, I would say ninety nine percent of the times, this is not a good news, and this is about uh, how they're going to devaluate uh, the program. So that's uh, what they're telling here. But although they're making the letter sound like it's a great news for example if you look right here uh, here bmo rewards points 50 percent faster so it sounds like you know you're getting 50 percent faster bmo rewards but that's not what it is so which i'll explain you but let's start with uh, here effective january 15 2018 there will be some changes to the bmo rewards program and the features of your card so the first thing here is the earn bmo of points 50 percent faster and what they're telling here that you get rewarded even sooner earn three bmo rewards points for every dollar spent on eligible travel dining and entertainment categories up to fifty thousand per year spent so right now uh, the bmo card would give you two points for everything and each point is one cent but however, it's giving you uh, three points for these specific categories, which are travel, dining, and entertainment. But you may think that this is a good news, but if you just look beneath, then you will see that uh, what's happening here, that the number of BMO rewards points needed to redeem for $1 in travel rewards will be increasing from 100 to 140 points. So, in plain words, this is what it means that one point is going to be equal to 0.714 cents instead of one cent, which is right now. So, for each point, you're going to be getting 0.714 cents, or for $100, the rate of return for this card is going to be uh, not... Uh, 2% anymore because you're going to get still 2 points per $100 but because each point is 
0.714 cents instead of one cent, your rate of return for each one dollar spent comes to 1.42 cents. This is not excluding those specific three categories here. So each point is each dollar has 1.42 percent return than 2 percent return which you are getting currently then for those three categories which are travel dining and entertainment uh, because you're getting three points instead of two rewards points so if you do the calculation so you take the value for each point which is 0.714 cents and then if you multiply that by three then you get uh, 2.14 cents per point I'm sorry per dollar for only these three categories so because you're getting three points so if you're spending uh, this card or if you're using this card to buy only category specific purchases example these three categories then your return is actually going to be higher than what it is now because now you're gonna get 2% return but uh, starting uh, 2018 it will be 2.14% return so that's the you can say it's kind of good news but in general it is not a good news because you're losing the uh, earning 2% return on everything else so and it's a huge devaluation because you can see that it's going to be 1.42% instead of 2% on everything else so if we look at the next uh, item here then let's say they are it says that they're improving the value of merchandise and gift cards and starting 2018 you'll be able to redeem uh, for the same great merchandise and gift cards with up to 20% fewer points so it's, it sounds like they're you know letting you earn uh, cash out uh, the points for merchandise and gift cards using 20% fewer points but Usually, whenever using any points, not just BMO points, to redeem for merchandise and gift cards, you lose a lot of value. And they're not actually telling you what is the value for those points, but it's not recommended to redeem any points for anything else but uh, travel uh, expenses because you're going to lose value. Then here, there's about, if you are investing with BMO point, then you'll be able to redeem that. Uh, I don't, I'll not go into that. And here... It says, it says that starting February 18, turn your BMO reward points into cash. So it looks like they're allowing you to convert points into cash. And again, this is not a good option because anytime you redeem any points, not just BMO points for cash, you lose value. It's not going to give you the full uh, returns which you would have earned using uh, spending points for travel expenses. Okay, so now let's flip over to see what we have here. Uh, then here they're just telling that you know they have extended call center hours and you continue to enjoy all the other benefits. Earn same great rate of 2 BMO reward points for everything else. Uh, but again, this is at a lower value, not going to be 2% anymore starting next year. And use any combination of point and cash. Okay, so I don't see anything else I need to mention here. Now, if you have, uh, if you are using this card, uh, uh, just to uh, purchase everything for everyday expenses, then it would be wise to only use this card for those three specific categories where you're gonna earn more points, uh, three points instead of two points, and for everything else, you should uh, you should not use this card anymore because it's giving you a lower rate of return. Uh, for myself. I have this card however I don't use this card at all I don't uh, use it to um, buy anything or purchase anything the reason I keep this card because it comes with lots of parks and features and one of the most important part is the lounge access so this card comes with the annual lounge membership fee uh, which they provide via priority pass uh, program and uh, it comes with two entrances for every calendar year so what it means that if you would buy priority pass membership it would cost you uh, 99 dollars us and for those four passes you'd pay 27 dollars each entrance 
so 4 times 27 is 108 dollars us so 99 plus 108 uh, 207 dollars us you would have spent uh, to buy four entrances and a annual membership to priority pass program but because of having this card you get that for free you don't have to pay for this and i value those at 265 dollars canadian when you convert uh, 207 dollars us to 265 dollars canadian as of today's uh, currency conversion rate uh, so what it means for me that uh, although i'm paying 150 dollars annual fee but if you subtract 150 minus 2 from uh, 265 canadian then i'm on the plus side for 115 dollars so that's my reason uh, to keep this card i don't use it for anything so i just use it for the lounge access and which is 150 dollars which gives me 150 dollars in my pocket uh, given the fact that i would have stayed uh, i would have used four lounge entrances each year uh, but if you have this card and you do not use for lounge accesses then uh, it wouldn't make sense uh, because of the higher annual uh, fee which is 150 dollars per year so to wrap it up uh, I'm not going to be uh, this point effect it does not uh, do anything to me because I don't use this card uh, to buy or spend for anything I just use this to uh, access lounges uh, so whenever I'm not uh, flying business class then I'll be using uh, the priority pass membership to access lounges uh, at the airports now for everyone else uh, who do not use this card to access lounges if you're using to purchase anything just to make sure that you use that for those three categories travel dining and entertainment then you'll be earning 2.14 percent uh, per uh, hundred dollars but if you're using for anything else then your rate is going to be drastically uh, reduced to 1.42 percent which is a very bad rate uh, for a credit card paying 150 dollars per year so i do have uh, other uh, videos on the lounge uh, access and the BMO World Elite credit card which I'll provide a link in the description box below uh, and at the same time I'd like to mention that uh, my trip to Asia is coming up in about a week and uh, I'll be uh, doing a business class flight reviews lounge reviews food reviews and all sorts of reviews uh, in Asia or going to Asia so if you haven't subscribed yet uh, please subscribe now and if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and there will be more videos coming up. Thank you.